home means constant upgrades. And if you're looking to hire it out, there are things to keep in mind before you hire a company. Julie Wheeler is the president of the Better Business Bureau serving Western Virginia and joins us now with an important checklist for homeowners. Great to see you as always. Good to be here. Yes, these are great reminders. And you know, a lot of times we just can't do it ourselves. We're looking for somebody to come into our home, which is really important to start your research first, right? Absolutely, do your homework. Um, check the BBB profile on that business, see if they have proper contractor's licenses in place, make sure they don't have complaints, bad reviews. I mean, and think about what you want to do. And it's always important to get multiple quotes. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, and yeah, the contractor should be licensed and insured. And those are two important key points for homeowners, just to protect yes. yourself from any kind of liability. And they should be able to provide you documentation proving that. And yeah. you can look up the licensing online as well. Okay, let's talk about getting multiple quotes. Why is that a benefit to the homeowner? Well, the great thing about getting multiple quotes is sometimes it helps you realize maybe you're not 100% sure of what you want. So if a mm. contractor comes in and, and quotes and is way out of line, but the specs that they're doing, you're like, oh, okay, well, I hadn't thought about that piece of it. But you want to make sure you're getting um, comparisons, so it's the same specifications, so you can see what are the real prices, the same pricing, the same quality of materials. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a lot of things that go into putting a quote together. Yeah, and I've always uh, found that it's helpful to let that person know that's coming in that I'm getting multiple quotes. Yes. So they're aware that I'm doing my homework. Absolutely, and you always can find out just how busy they are or how much they need the work. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they'll give you a better deal, and and when you find it, they come in low, and you ask, well, why why are you so much lower than X Y Z? They can say, well, I need the work, and so I cut a deal yeah, on labor yeah. or something like that. Right, yeah, and sometimes that's really good to hire Absolutely. somebody who, who is hungry like that, yes, yes. and it's going to show up. <laughs> Very important that's, when you're talking about home That's another thing that's a struggle, <laughs> trust me, yeah, yes. just showing up. All right, so let's talk about what we should make sure that is in each contract before we sign on the dotted line with them. Well, you want to have um, estimated start dates and end dates. You want to have the specifications, including the quality of material, detail material, exactly what's going to be done. Is there a demo involved? I mean, there's all different kinds of um, things in that. Um, what the payment schedule is. Mm -hmm. You know, you always want to hold some money till the till you have had your punch list taken care of. Right, don't at pay the up, up, up yeah. front. Most contractors require a deposit up front and then maybe payments along and all that should be spelled out in the contract. Yes. And obviously both parties need to sign it. Yes, and that's a good point. Yes, a little bit up front is normal. Yes. But then yes, make sure that each you know, piece of that job is listed out and then exactly. when that payment is expected, you know, and don't pay it unless yes, it's done. Exactly, and <laughs> keep a little bit and just to make sure that there's little details and sure. you need to get them back out there. Yeah, exactly, right. All right, let's talk about the door-to-door -door salespeople. Um, you know, I've encountered this, my husband has as well. You know, somebody comes to our door and says, oh, your roof has hail damage. We've had that happen and you know, this is, you know, some of them are legitimate, but some of them are scammers. What do we need to know? Well, the biggest thing you want to do if somebody comes to your door and says, hey, you need a new roof. Okay, are you having roof problems? Have you, has there been a serious storm? If you think you may have damage, call your insurance broker. But it's always important to then you call a couple of contractors, say, go ahead and give me a quote, but I'm, I need to get comparative quotes. And that usually is going to deter a lot of them because they want to do the work right now. They don't want you to check it out and do the homework. Um, so you gotta be very careful when they say you have damage and you don't know you have damage um, because insurance fraud is a thing. And yes. unfortunately, some of the less reputable companies, um, we've had experiences they will actually help you commit insurance fraud mm. to file a claim when you actually did not need a roof. So you really want to make sure you're working with your broker and your insurance company and are not having the contractor work with them. Yeah, and uh, you were telling me before the show, some of the most common are really around the outside of the home, like uh, a tree, mm -hmm. um, you were saying, um, Gutters. Gutters, yep. Um, what else? The roof and driveways. 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 Yes. Yeah, that's actually probably the most popular one, which okay. is driveway ceiling and paving. And then I have materials left over from this job that I just did. So, so you know, I can, can just get to work right I can now. Help you. Yes. yes. And, you know, we had one in our neighborhood, and they actually did do a neighbor's. And then they went, well, I'll give you, I've got a, I'll give you a break on this, you know, if you let me do it right now. And like, 
get your quotes, take your time, yes. you know, because you don't want trouble. You don't want substandard work. You want to make sure that it's going to last and you want to make sure you're getting the best deal that you can. Right. And you always say if it feels rushed, it's usually a red flag. Yes, you absolutely <laughs> want to take your time on any of this. This is your home you're talking about. Yes, absolutely. And you don't want to lose that hard earned money for sure. <laughs> All right. Exactly. Well, if you want more information, uh, head to the Better Business Bureau's website, a great resource for more information, of course, report any suspicious activity. There's the number on your screen. Julie, it's great seeing you as always. Always my pleasure. Uh -huh. Thank you.